lawmakers in Washington are working on bills to support Israel following this weekend's attack by Iran. The large-scale attack added urgency for many lawmakers to pass the additional aid for the U.S. ally. House Speaker Mike Johnson says the House will vote on additional aid for Israel this week. The details of that package are being put together right now. We're looking at the options and all these supplemental issues. One of the issues is aid for Ukraine. So far, it's been tied to aid for Israel, which has held up Congress from passing it. Some Republicans are against funding Ukraine's war without addressing the border crisis. President Biden says his support for Israel is ironclad. During a meeting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, he said that we will not have U.S. military support Israel if it launches a counterattack. This afternoon, the president met with Iraq's prime minister as the White House works to de-escalate tensions in the Middle East. We're committed to a ceasefire that will bring the hostages home and preventing conflict from spreading beyond what it already has. Simply put, our partnership is pivotal for our nations, for the Middle East, and I believe for the world. Saturday's strikes have also brought up questions if Iraq will force the U.S. to withdraw the remaining American troops from its country. Iran's weekend attacks on Israel could cause spikes in oil prices. The projected increase comes after oil hit a six-month high Friday. Some oil experts say there's been no impact yet on production.